According to Iranian officials, Iranian-made kamikaze drones targeted the Ukrainian capital region early on Thursday morning, according to Kirila Timoshenko, the deputy head of the presidential office. Quote, important infrastructural facilities in the region had been struck. Officials did not go into detail about the scope of the damage. What exactly are these Iranian kamikaze drones? What's so special about it, and what role is it playing in the ongoing war? In today's episode, we will discuss everything about Iranian kamikaze drones. These are tiny, unmanned aircraft that may be flown straight against a tank or a group of soldiers, exploding upon impact to destroy the target. The feared Japanese kamikaze pilots of World War II gave their attacks their name by deliberately crashing their aircraft into enemy targets while carrying out suicide missions. Modern drone versions can penetrate established defenses to reach their objectives, and they are also less expensive than their bigger equivalents. Small, lethal drones can be programmed to kill targets without human interaction, thanks to facial recognition technology, making them difficult to spot on radar. According to Reuters, Ukraine announced its decision to sever diplomatic ties with Iran and revoke the ambassador's credentials in response to Tehran's unfriendly move to provide drones to Russian forces. A statement on the website of the foreign ministry reads, quote, Supplying Russia with weapons to wage war against Ukraine is a hostile move that does significant harm to relations between Ukraine and Iran. It continued, quote, The Ukrainian side has decided to strip the Iranian ambassador of his accreditation and to drastically restrict the number of diplomatic workers at the Iranian embassy in Kyiv in response to such an unfriendly act. Additionally, military authorities claimed that they shot down Shahed-136 unmanned aircraft. The largest nuclear power facility in Europe, located in Zaporizhia, Ukraine, was attacked by Russian kamikaze drones on October 7th, according to The Guardian. Alexander Sturrock, the regional governor, said that two infrastructure facilities in the city were harmed by Iranian-made Shahed-136 drones. The paper claims that military officers from Ukraine thought that although such drones were less expensive and complex than missiles, they, quote, proved effective in causing damage to targets on the ground. The Shahed-136 drones can stay in the air for several hours before being guided at hostile objectives, where they detonate upon impact. Nasser Kanani, a spokesman for the Iranian Foreign Ministry, refuted the allegations and labeled them as, quote, baseless. Such armed drones have been employed by some nations openly, while others have been suspected of destroying them for clandestine strikes. The U.S. military claims that 10 strikes on U.S. locations in Iraq this year involved tiny drones being used by militants supported by Iran. Small drones built in Turkey that Azerbaijan had employed against the Armenian military in recent years have drastically shifted the long-running standoff over a disputed region in Azerbaijan's favor. Additionally, on numerous occasions after invading Ukraine, Russia has launched assaults using these suicide drones. In 2019, they were also utilized by Houthi rebels with Iranian support to blow up Saudi oil facilities. Russia, China, Israel, Iran, and Turkey all have some variations of the U.S. kamikaze drone, although it may be the most technologically advanced in this class. The maker, Aerovironment, claims that the U.S. kamikaze drones are more affordable than the majority of other drones produced in the nation and are available in two sizes. The Switchblade 300 suicide drone is designed to be carried in a backpack and weighs approximately 5 pounds, or 2.26 kilograms. It can fly for up to 15 minutes at a time. Comparatively, the Switchblade 600 is a, quote, loitering missile that can linger over a target for a while and target armored vehicles. It weighs around 50 pounds and has a flight time of up to 40 minutes. In its first widespread use of a foreign weapon system since the start of the war, Russia has reportedly inflicted significant damage on Ukrainian forces with freshly acquired Iranian drones, according to Ukrainian commanders. According to Colonel Rodion Kulakin, the 92nd Mechanized Brigade of Ukraine's artillery commander, Shahed-136 Delta Wing drones that have been painted in Russian colors and given the new name Geranium-2 have begun to appear over Ukrainian armor and artillery positions in the northeastern Kharkiv region. 
The Iranian drones, which often fly in pairs before slamming into their targets, have destroyed two 152mm and two 122mm self-propelled howitzers, as well as two BTR armored infantry vehicles, according to him. Before the current extensive use of the Shahids, Russia conducted a test last month in which the drone was used to strike a US-provided M777 155mm towed howitzer, according to Colonel Kulagin. He claimed that another Iranian drone had problems and had been found. The Iranian drones appear to have been primarily stationed in the Kharkiv region so far. This month, the 92nd Brigade and other Ukrainian forces conducted a major offensive there, retaking approximately 3,300 square miles, or 8,500 square kilometers, of Russian-occupied territory, while also capturing or destroying hundreds of Russian tanks, artillery pieces, and armored carriers. Quote, the Russians have overwhelming artillery firepower in other locations, and they make do with that. They no longer have the advantage of artillery here. Therefore, they have begun to use these drones," Colonel Kulagin stated. Shahed-136, the most recent iteration of Tehran's Delta Wing design, looks to be the wreckage, according to independent specialists who have reviewed images of recent drone wreckage from the Kharkiv region. A strategic consulting company's founder and CEO, Scott Crino, claimed that the Shahed-136 might give Russia a, quote, powerful counterweight to the advanced weaponry that the United States has given to Ukraine, such as HIMARS missile launchers. According to him, quote, Kyiv's operational plans are unquestionably shifting as a result of Shahed-136's involvement in the Ukraine war. The Shahed-136 is difficult to defend against due to the immensity of the Ukrainian battlefield. Shahed-136 may be employed quite well, according to Mr. Krino, with one hitting an artillery piece and the other a radar system. Iranian anti-jamming devices may make it difficult for Ukrainian forces to counter, the expert added. Quote, it will be challenging to halt a Shahed once it locks upon a target. The most difficult addition to Tehran's arsenal outside of the Middle East is represented by Russia's employment of Shahed-136 drones in Ukraine, where Iran has employed its unmanned aerial vehicles to exert pressure on the United States and its allies. It also draws attention to the shortcomings of Russia's drone program, which has fallen short of Ukraine's armed UAVs in terms of firepower. In recent years, American soldiers in Syria, the capital of the United Arab Emirates, tankers in the Gulf of Oman, and the oil industry of Saudi Arabia have all been targeted by drone attacks, according to Israel and the West. In its intelligence update on September 14th, the British Ministry of Defense stated that it was also extremely likely that Russia had first-time Iranian drone deployments in Ukraine. It noted that so far, it appears that Moscow is utilizing these drones for tactical strikes close to front lines, rather than to destroy more strategic targets deep within Ukrainian territory, despite the Shahed-136's alleged range of 2,500 kilometers. Due to their small size and low flying altitude, the Iranian drones are difficult to detect by Ukrainian air defense systems, according to Colonel Kulagin. He expressed the expectation that the United States and its allies would act to stop Iranian drone supplies to Russia, or would provide Ukraine access to more sophisticated anti-drone technologies. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan issued a warning about Russian defense officials visiting Iran and planning to swiftly buy up to several hundred Iranian drones, including those with weapons capability. According to a statement from the Iranian Foreign Ministry at the time, Iran's foreign minister, Hossein Amir Abdullahian, refuted the proposal over the phone with his Ukrainian counterpart and declared that Tehran opposed a war on Ukraine. Regarding Iran's drone procurement, Russia has not made any public remarks. A recent Wall Street Journal request for comment on the subject received no response from Iran's foreign ministry. Requests for a reaction from the Kremlin and the Russian defense ministry were not immediately fulfilled. The Iranian firms Safiran Airport Services, Parivar Pars, Dama, and Baharistan Kish, as well as the Russian military planes that carried Iranian drones and related equipment to Russia, were sanctioned by the U.S. Department of the Treasury on September 8th. 
due in part to the fact that neither side possesses air superiority and is, therefore, reluctant to use manned aircraft over enemy positions. Drones of various kinds play a significant role in the battle in Ukraine. Along the front lines, hundreds of military and commercial spy drones fly overhead every day, detecting targets and directing artillery fire. In contrast to Russia, Ukraine also uses a fleet of missile-equipped drones. Now that Kyiv has been able to weaken Russian air defenses in many areas, thanks in part to US-supplied AGM-88 Harm anti-radar missiles, they are being used more frequently once more. These Turkish-made Bayraktar TB2 drones initially destroyed several Russian armored columns in the early stages of the war. One of the most creative combat drone developers in the world is Iran. It redesigned American drones that went awry in Afghanistan and Iraq. Additionally, loitering weapons, often known as kamikaze drones, are used by both Russia and Ukraine. The flight time and range of these weapons are far less than those of the Iranian-made Shahed drones. The Middle East has been the target of strikes allegedly carried out by Iran employing kamikaze drones. Tehran has been charged by the United States and Israel with giving militants in countries ranging from Yemen to Lebanon instruction and components for building their drones. As per expert opinion, Iran has never encountered a quote, real counter-air environment like Ukraine. So that's all for today's video. What do you think about the Iranian kamikaze drones? Also, let us know about its contribution to the Ukraine-Russia war in the comment section below. And if you loved today's video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more similar stuff. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. We'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.